we dip back into our archives as we remember the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. If you are old enough, you remember where you were when it happened. 30 years ago, our Steve Onasorge found one Carolinian with a special story about that day. He's bringing back some of that interview. It's our move first at four. In the Carolinas, that November day was like today. Blue skies, thoughts of holidays, and then it happened. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade. I was working on a car. Mrs. Kennedy jumped up and grabbed Mr. Kennedy. She called, oh no. And everybody was just stunned. An unforgettable moment for everyone, especially for Bill Greer, who I interviewed in 1983. When I was in the front seat. I was driving him when he was shot. That's right. He was the Secret Service agent behind the wheel. The first shot he thought was a backfire. The second? And I looked over my shoulder like this and I saw the blood running down Governor Connolly's white shirt and then I knew it was trouble. The fatal shot rang out just as he hit the gas. Minutes later he was in the operating room as doctors tried to save Kennedy but nothing could be done. I got real shook up about it. He stayed in the Secret Service just a couple more years before retiring to Waynesville. Nightmares of Dallas to blame. I think that that would give me ulcers. He died two years after this interview. We still have the old tapes, the old films of what happened in Dallas. But anyone around during a historical milestone like 9-11, the Challenger disaster, Martin Luther King Jr., or the Kennedy assassination, we don't need the films. We remember. Fifty years later, the feelings are still fresh. I just felt horrible. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. In Morganton, Steve Onisorch, WBTV, on your side.